What is up, YouTube? Finally, the sun is out in Rhode Island. The only thing is, it is freezing, freezing out here. Um, but anyways, I want to do like, there's going to be a new video series on the channel and it's going to be like this, like I'm not doing overlanding, but I'm going to try to do some like Jeep sleeping. So we're headed to Florida for February. My wife comes, we, we go down there for a couple weeks to visit my wife's uh, mother. She lives on the West coast. And, um, I usually go like a, a week early and then a week after. And I, I last, last winter I drove down a couple times and you know, it's cheaper because we have the car. Um, but this time I decided that I'm going to try and, 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 and sleep in the Jeep and do a little camping. I've never camped. I have, I have no camping experience. I've never slept in the Jeep, um, or anything. So I have a 2013 Jeep Rubicon Unlimited. I've had it since day one. I bought it with zero miles on it. I've had it, you know, since 2013. Um, now it's got close to 200,000 miles on it. Anytime anything breaks, I fix it. Um, so I figured we'd take a look at it. Some of the things that I've ordered so I can sleep in the Jeep and uh, I do need to work while I'm, I, I work remote, so I do need to work while I'm traveling. So this will, there's some things that I got to like make working a little bit easier or whatnot. And then I'm really, what I'm really hoping is like any of you that do this, if you have any like, like this is more like essentials, like I'm not getting a refrigerator, right? I'm gonna bring a couple coolers. Um, you know, anything that like, you know, that you think that, you know, I could use or like, you know, you wouldn't leave without, like definitely let me know, leave, leave, leave me a comment or whatever. Um, but this is what I have so far to start. And you know, these are some things I ordered. So, so this is the Jeep. Um, wow. It actually is a pretty good sunset for us. Um, damn. So this is the Jeep. It's 2013. It's got close to 200,000 miles on it. Uh, last year I replaced it. I replaced the suspension. So I have a CT three Terraflex lift kit. So it's a three inch lift. Um, it's got method bead locks on it with 32s. Um, so, you know, it doesn't do like rock crawling or anything. I've driven on the beach a couple of times, but I mean, it, it rides pretty smooth. It's, it's nice. You know, uh, I have some off-road lights on it. Um, a tarot, uh, yeah, actually a poison spider bumper. Um, it has the, the, uh, Thule roof rack with some Yakima surfboard racks. I do bring surfboards with me on this trip. So I'll have boards with me. I'll have my skateboard with me. I'll have my mountain bike with me. Um, and I'm hoping to kind of squeeze it all in this thing. Um, me and the dog too. So I will have, so up on the roof rack, I'm going to have the, the boards. I'll have some recovery gear, well, just the recovery boards and a water port up there. Um, and then here in the back is where I'll be sleeping. So I ordered one of those deep sleep for Jeeps. Um, and I laid in here the other day just to see if I fit and I fit no problem. So I, I think it's going to be, you know, I'm whole, like, I've never like, again, I've never camped. So I'm like really concerned about safety and whatnot. So the dog and I are going to sleep in here together. I'm, I'm, I'm a little concerned about being like, I mean, it's freezing right now out here. I'm freezing, but I'm really, I'm a little concerned about being cold. Uh, so yeah, I mean, we're going to give it a go. So, you know, we're driving from Rhode Island down to Florida. I think my first stop is going to be in the Outer Banks and I'm hoping to like, from there just to end up in St. Augustine and kind of stay the next, you know, three to four days there and then move over to the West coast and, and, and so, and then just end up at, you know, my wife's mother's house for a little bit. So that's, that's the plan. Um, I did order, I think it's the, called the blue Eddie battery. Um, I'll put links for the, for the things that I ordered to use. So the battery I ordered, I do need to work while I'm, while I'm traveling. So I'll have, I will be able to power my laptop, no problem. My phone with no problem. Um, I don't really have anything else electronic that I need to power. I don't have any cameras that I use. I pretty much everything I film, I film on my iPhone. So, you know, I, as long as I can keep my iPhone and my computer powered up, I should be pretty good. I do have a power tank. Um, I don't think we're going to be doing any airing down or driving on, on the beach or anything with, with, so, I mean, last time I was in Florida, I did use it, but it was because I had a flat. So I have used it a few times just because I've gotten flats and, and being in Rhode Island once in a while, I do drive it on the beach. So that's when I use it, but you know, I have that with me. Um, I, I do store the mountain bike in the Jeep. So when it's time to sleep, I'll pull the mountain bike out. I'll lock it to the Jeep. I'll set up the bed and we'll, we'll sleep in here. So yeah, I mean, I pack for clothes wise, I pack pretty light. I'll have like a duffel bag and a backpack and I'll have that in the front seat. And then like 
a small cooler, I guess. I'm, ho I'm maybe two coolers. I'm trying to like figure out like, you know, what I need to bring. I, you know, I definitely need to have a coffee solution because I drink a lot of coffee. Um, food solutions, I'm hoping once I get to camp, I don't have to leave to go get food. So I kind of like, need to get all that dialed in. But right now I'm kind of, you know, trying to plan the trip, make sure I have the right stuff and like plan like the locations that I'm stopping and camping. Um, I didn't realize how popular it was. A couple of locations that I looked in Florida were already sold out. So, you know, it, it's pretty crazy, I, I honestly. But I did find a place in St. Augustine for a couple days. Um, I'm looking for something by the beach on the West Coast. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, Outer Banks right now, is, it's, not, it's off season, so th those places were pretty easy to find. But yeah, this is what I'm starting with. Um, you know, if anyone has any suggestions, please you know this is my first go at this i'm hoping that it works out because i'd love to like do more of this i mean i think the nights in st augustine are like 28 dollars a night or something like that and then out on the outer banks i think it was like 25 dollars a night so i mean hotel prices continue to rise and get get crazy but but yeah so yeah uh hope i hope anyone if even if you didn't find this interesting please leave me a comment just so like some encouragement <laughs> or if you have pointers please you know leave me some pointers but yeah this is what i'm working with so far um i leave in like three or four weeks so hopefully everything comes in in time and yeah thanks for watching